In this question, we're asked to solve the equation 3x squared plus 4x plus 8 equals 2x squared plus 6x minus 5. We're also asked to solve this equation by using the quadratic formula. As before, we need to start by making sure that one side of the equation is set equal to 0 before we can start using the quadratic formula. To make matters simple, or as simple as they can be, we can take all three terms on the right-hand side and move them over to the left. When we do that, we'll get 3x squared as it is, minus the 2x squared, plus 4x, minus the 6x, plus 8, plus the 5. Whenever these terms move to the other side, all the signs are going to change. So the 2x squared will become a negative, the 6x will become a negative, and the negative 5 will become a positive 5. We can combine like terms to get x squared minus 2x plus 13 equals 0. Now because one side of the equation has been made to be 0, we can start identifying our constants for a, b, and c. So a will be the leading coefficient of x squared, which is 1, b will be negative 2, which is the coefficient of x, and c, the lone constant, will be 13. Now all we have to do is replace all the variables in the quadratic formula with these constants a, b, and c. So we start with negative b, but b is already negative, so negative times a negative will make it a positive 2, plus or minus the square root of b squared, well b is negative 2, so we get negative 2 squared, plus 4 times a, which is 1, times c, which is 13, all over 2 times a, which is still 1. Now we can simplify all the stuff on the inside of the radical. Negative 2 times negative 2 will give a positive 4. Negative 4 times 1 is negative 4, times 13 is negative 52. All over 2 times 1, which is just 2. Now we can simplify what's inside the radical. 4 minus 52 will give us a negative 48 inside the radical. But remember, we cannot take even roots of negative numbers. So this is where complex numbers should start popping in your head. In order to find the square root of negative 48, we can split it up into negative 16 times 3. The square root of negative 16 will be 4i. Remember that the square root of negative 1 is i, and the square root of 16 will give us the 4. The square root of 3 remains as is because we can't find it. All of this is still being divided by the 2, so we still have that. Now observe here that a 2 as a GCF can be factored out of both the terms in the numerator. So let's go ahead and do exactly that. That'll leave us behind with 1 plus or minus 2i radical 3 all over 2. At this stage, we notice that this 2 and this 2 can be canceled against each other. 2 divided by 2 is simply 1, leaving behind two solutions for x. The first one, 1 plus 2i radical 3, and the second, 1 minus 2i radical 3. 